question. I am excited to share with you a special Halloween fantasy makeup makeover. Now, as you can see, I've already done my makeup and I'm going to let you get a nice close up look. I've got three colors of lipstick on, but that's not the part that I want to focus on. Although there are some incredible makeup tutorials, what I want to talk about are inexpensive ways to use accessories to get just the look you want. So I, I never ever recommend wearing a mask for Halloween for lots of reasons, but when you can do so much with makeup and it doesn't cost you anything, especially um, when it's so economically sound to just use the things you have or if you want to spend the money spend it on a special accessory that's really going to light up your costume i'm going to go with a little fairy look at the moment a little fairy princess or something and i like to have a little sense of humor in my costumes uh, one year i had a really gross gothic look and i had a really funny little spider on my shoulder and it really, really threw people for a loop when I, I had the little string down inside so that I held the little pump in my hand and when I would push it, the spider would jump on my shoulder. I scared everybody, but kind of that's what Halloween is for, is for all the little tricks, right? Well, I have some different accessories and I'm gonna watch you how you can pull together a completely different look just by accessories. And I'm gonna show you how to use necklaces in a different way also. The one of my judges of a good necklace is how good it's going to look as a headpiece. So let me show you just kind of what I mean by that. That's kind of fun. You can always pull off like a, a Cleopatra look or something. Here's a fun one. These make the difference of looking just that complete polish or regal or majestic. Look at this one. Oh, I love this one. And you can find a way to secure it with a little bobby pin in the back underneath your hair. We have a cute little one with some flowers. That's sweet too, isn't it? Also, I, I did my hair in little ringlets, little curls, and it sure does take a long time for me to um, get my hair curly. I haven't tried the little tiny rollers. Some people have been asking me to get little tiny rollers. I just haven't been able to get to the beauty salon. So what I'm gonna do after I have taken out my hair like this, I'm gonna just give it a little bit more volume so it'll hold in the things that I wanna put into it. So how I'm gonna do that is pull it apart and kinda mess it up. Do some separating. Because Halloween, the one day of the year where you want to look a little bit extreme, okay? Especially if you already wear makeup every day, you get to do something a little bit wild on this day. Um, I also have a special little scarf here that you can change your look to look like a little like a flower child from the 60s. It's just a scarf. this scarf at a thrift store years ago. I thought, oh, it's a fun little piece to lay out on table displays when I give a, a lesson perhaps at church or to tuck around my neck. You know, this would be cute if you're doing the 50s thing and put your hair up in a big high ponytail. 
for that. And I also have some fun little sparkly things that I think that you could make very easily. Uh, I met a lady while I was sitting in the DMV waiting to get my name officially changed. And she was waiting and I was waiting. And I said, what are you working on? And I said, that looks so fun. And she was making these little crystal strings that you snap into your hair. These are Australian crystals. And they just have a little comb thing in them. And they just add a little bit of sparkle in your hair. And what you do is just kind of take a little section of your hair. I like to take it near the front, lift it up, tuck it in there, let the little comb grab your hair and snap it. And then when your hair goes down, you have these two little strings that give a little surprise of sparkle when you're walking in a party or something if they have those little lights. And I do some on the other side. Just a little snap in there, which you can't ever see. But see how it gives that special little sparkle? Not for every day, but for special occasions. Then I have a crown. Isn't that pretty? And I have another crown, which just changes the whole look of the thing. collection of wands that you can walk around with because of course every fairy needs a wand. <laughs> so once you decide on your accessories, take a look around again and decide, hmm, what can I do that will be a little bit gross or a little bit funny in my costume? It's not just about being the sexy fairy or the naughty fairy. Be the funny fairy. <laughs> Anybody can do those other things, but have a little sense of humor. Um, I have this little surprise that I love to do for a Halloween costume just for a little finishing touch. Ha, ha, ha. 